Now, like around the time of the song, when the song was released with the Kraken Fours and all that stuff, would you say that's the hottest Arlington was around that time in the streets? I'm, I wouldn't even say it was hot. Yo, for real, it wasn't hot. I'm, it wasn't no. I'm a, it was more hotter back in 2012, oh, 2013. Christ. Like when that shit happened, niggas was more confused. Like, what the fuck is this? Cause I had just got the penitentiary, like what 2013, 2014, like October. I forget the year's time for about some motherfucking ass. I was gone for like a year. I get home, everybody rapping. It's a whole different world now. For real. Like, niggas gonna rap for. I'm like, damn, hello, everybody rapping. I'm like, boom. And I hear it's, it's niggas over here talking about this. Some niggas over talking about that. I'm like, damn, when that nigga get like this? Right, right, but right. It's world fast, my nigga. Damn. So all right, but so you went, you went to prison with 2012. 20, in the 2012, yeah, early 13, 20, it's, I, man, my date so fucked up. Right. I, I just know I was gone for 13 months for shit, so. Okay, for sure, for sure. Like, for people that haven't, you know what I'm saying, been in prison or, or know anything about it, what would you say are some codes or some guidelines that you shouldn't do? I mean, shit, you really just mind your motherfucking business. If you, if you go in there trying to be like something you're not, going to try to enforce some shit, somebody, yeah, I'm big blood, I'm big, I'm big, Cree, I'm big. Niggas gonna, niggas gonna trick you for that. Niggas like, okay, then show me something. Bro. Don't show me something, youngster. Ooh, ooh. There's a lot of look. It's a lot of dope fiends in there. A lot of old Damn. school cats in there. Hoe. A lot of, a lot of wanna be. It's a lot of gangsters in there. Hoe. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of, it's a lot of that. It's a lot of real shit going on. But if you just mind your business, ain't nobody gonna fuck with you. For sure, and for it, sure. ain't, it ain't like how the movies portrayed and all that. Yeah, shit. that's what that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking like you think in prison, you thinking like you know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna walk the door, niggas. Where you from, man? This ain't, this ain't LA. Like, this, <laughs> this ain't none of this shit. For sure. For and, sure. Uh, now I see y'all have on the SOS gear. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. What is, what does that mean? What does that mean to y'all? Slide to shut up. Slide to shut up. Niggas support my nigga album, you know what I'm saying? Like that. Okay, for sure. Where can you slide to shut up shit? You know what I'm saying? That's hard. Niggas slide shut the fuck up. Exactly. We don't know. I'm a rapper. Yeah, for sure. If you gonna slide and shut up and let me rap. For sure, for sure. If people want to get some of these shirts, can we just wear those, like, for, you know what I'm saying, down the streets? Yeah, yeah. anyway, you know what I'm saying, I got, uh, what size you wear? Extra large. Extra large. Yes, sir. I think I got one call yeah. for you, so shit, I, yeah. I need one of them for sure. Yeah, for sure. Like, so, my mom and my love. Yeah, hey, yeah, bro, like, you know what I'm saying, is that going to be like a, like a clothing line you guys might start or what? Because it, it's uh, real catchy. I mean, I mean, shit, I'm just really handing them out to niggas who fucking with a nigga, you know what I'm saying? I ain't really trying to make no money up because I got my whole other thing. This, this is just free promotion, like. Hey, nigga fuck with me, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, you fuck me here, I need you to wear this hoe. You okay. know what I'm saying? Please fuck with me, my nigga. That's all it really is. At the end of the day, it's all about being a connection. <coughs> Niggas be too high and mighty up their own ass. Like, oh yeah, I got this. You got to give me this for that. Yeah. It can't be like that all the time. For sure, for sure, for sure, bro. Now, shit, you know what I'm saying? How long have you, like, seriously been taking the rap shit serious to where you said, okay, I'm going to go ahead and make money off this? Us? I mean, I I want to say I've been taking it serious for like the past year and a half, maybe two years. What made you want to start taking it serious? Everybody around me saying, bro, come on. Like, every, I see everybody else want to rap, and I feel like, shit, I'm, I take initiative with everything. So I'm like, you know, I might as well be the nigga to, be, be the nigga to, like, make everybody else want to do what the fuck I want to do as well. Sure. So it's like, and I know it's going to pay off in the end. It's easy. We really got shit to talk about. We really enforcing shit. So it's like, why the fuck not? For sure, for sure, bro. Now, you know what I'm saying? I did an interview uh, yesterday, Born Paid Ducky Pete. Yeah. He said that the DFW needs new faces, you know what I'm saying, as far as rappers. Thanks. How do you think we can get that done? You feel like that's more on the bloggers or is that more on the, the rappers that already have a name? I mean, both, honestly. <coughs> both, because uh, the rappers that already got a name ain't trying to fuck with a nigga who ain't got a name for themselves. They don't want to, they want to go up, they want you to shit that shit out or build your own fan base, then you want to fuck with <laughs> uh, <laughs> Bloggers, same thing. You got to shit that out. Uh, Find somebody else that you fucking with. Cause I, I guarantee if I pop out with a nigga that, that I don't know, that's, I'm not gonna say a blogger name. So I, if, I, if I pop out with a nigga that a lot of these niggas fuck with, right. immediately niggas gonna try to post me. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh he, he, I see Kalix is with Young Thug. Mm -hmm. let's, let's, oh yeah, he, is he up next out of Arlington? Damn, Damn, my nigga, what about the, <laughs> what about this fire ass track that I dropped? The reason that the nigga, that's the reason why nigga even tapped in with me. Yeah. A whole another nigga from out of state had to tap in with me for a song that. I thought it was hard, but y'all niggas ain't give me the time of day because I was like, I was standing in the woods. Damn, that's real like, shit. Niggas ain't gonna waste my time that's, that's, that's real, that's real. Now shit, bro, like, as far as the bloggers, do you feel like we post messy shit? You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to, though. That's how you Because the world, the world <laughs> is messy than the motherfuckers. And, and the messy shit that niggas post, that's gonna bring engagements. And I, I know how the business work. Sure. So, like, you gotta cover the good, the bad, and the ugly. Right, right. Niggas that's don't understand that. Niggas getting their feelings behind that shit. Yeah, bad, bad. But what I want to ask you though, like, do you feel like it's a line 
that bloggers shouldn't cross? And if it is, what line do you think that is? I mean, shit, everything on the internet ain't true though. That too, yeah. So shit. That's a fact. And then That's if it's if you let's say a blogger know was he can he can interpret what's really going on if he knows some real shit that's about to happen. I feel like you should even, you should let the shit play out and then once the the uh, the final verdict come out, then you can go ahead and post about it because then laws already involved, nigga already got arrested for it, nigga. But if it's some ongoing internet beef, nigga, I'm gonna kill this nigga and niggas posting that, it's like. But then again, it's, it fall back on the artist. Yeah, but they shouldn't have did that in the first place. It's on the internet, you know what I'm saying? It's already on the internet because sure. if, if the bloggers, so I'm pretty sure these niggas over there behind behind in the office and them in the blues and the blue suits, because I already <laughs> seen that bitch too. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So you got what you supposed to begin with, but shit. But making the post, the fans gonna do their job and all this shit too. That make it even worse. Yeah, that's that's true, bro. That's what turn it up. Shit. So that's so, what that's what giving more attention. A nigga see something online and then ten thousand people saying, "Oh no, nah, you ain't respond. Oh, you pussy as a bitch. Oh, you 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 this that the third. Like with dirt, exactly, what exactly. What, what dirt do? What, how he ain't did nothing oh, since now? Right. Yeah, like, come on, man. In the Rondo shit, like, bro, what you expect this nigga to do? Right, right, From right. All the shit nigga been through, then he finna turn up behind. <laughs> Type shit. A nigga with rainbow hair <laughs> talking shit about his nigga. Come on, man. Yeah, a nigga, sure. a non rat at that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come on, bro. Like, now I was gonna get to that, bro. I, I want to ask you this. You know what I'm saying? This is a, the music business. If Six Nine label come to you and say he want to do a song with you, can't do it. It's a lot of opportunities out there. I finna just jump from first. Ooh, oh, he finna give me fifty band for a refeat. So fuck, gonna do it. Nah, I can't do it. Integrity is a motherfucker. And then on top of that, I do a song with him. I'm black body immediately off the rip. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna wanna fuck me after I do that song with this nigga. On top of everything, I mean, money good. You know what I'm saying? I love money, but. You gotta think about the long run. You okay, fuck, okay, for you, sure, for you sure. You fuck with this bitch ass nigga, they gonna automatically think you a bitch ass nigga. <laughs> okay, okay, but what I'm what I'm saying is like, there's no way you can separate the business between the personal shit. I mean, you can, but a situation like that, that nigga loud about it too. <laughs> okay, okay. He, he like he obnoxious about it. He like, oh yeah. I'm a red. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Right. He could have came back. He could have came back. Explained his way and said, I did, I did this because X Y Z. But shit, look, I'm not that type of nigga no more. Right. He's still trying to be a gangster on top of. That's you know, true. That's so it's, it's, it's different. That's different. So it's like he ex. <laughs> so sure. Ain't no ain't no come back from it. For sure, for sure, bro. Now, shit, like what what kind of music do you have in the future that we can look forward to? Can't call it. <laughs> <laughs> I got so many different sounds. It's ridiculous. I'm. I'm auto leaks, I'm singing, I'm I'm hardcore, I'm I'm whispering on the song. I'm, <laughs> it done a lot of different styles. I heard like four different styles on like five different videos. See, every every video, every song different. I sure. can't make the same song twice if I wanted to. So for sure. Now Creeper Leaks, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. How did you come up with that name? Uh, my nigga Creeper, my nigga uh, Kelvin tell me two times Creeper, he uh, he died. You know what I'm saying? I, I passed I took that name Creeper and my name Kaleeks. So I just mixed them bitches together. Okay. Creeper Leaks. Okay, so I was like, keep the nigga name living, whatnot. That's tough. That's tough, bro. Now, shit, like, where can people follow you at if they want to get up with you guys on social media or, or any shows or something like that? Shit, creep release on Instagram, Twitter. Nigga, uh, I will give him Snapchat, but yeah, I ain't spending no money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> go ahead and tell y'all shit. Shit, you can get a me at Tommy Poe with three M's, T O M M M Y P O E. G V G underscore Cephalon B Will. I got some, you know, business, Instagram, shit like that. Shit, sure.